from 1895, isn't that great? Wow. And that's from a photograph, and, and then it, I had to make a few of them, and then the torpedo tubes are the same way. It's all brass tube and jewelry pieces. And then, see the metal, the two, uh, the smokestacks? Yeah. Well, back there, you can see the curtain rod I used. See that, it's just a curtain rod, oh. and I just cut it to pieces. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll fit it together, like, yeah. Because welding is really hard that small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And this is from the generation. Yes, yes, absolutely. And that, and that fun, yeah. I'll just take it around and look at it. Yeah, please, have fun, do whatever you want. So, yes, yeah, so, uh, I, I, I've collected the artifacts around my models for, my, for many years. And, and then I decided to share it with everybody and just let, uh, I never know who knows who, I need media, uh, because we have commissions to make models for people in our know, museums. Oh, uh, yeah, let's see, yeah, the antiques. Oh yeah, that's the real stuff, like that's a naval officer's cap from, from this period, from 1890s. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's really nice. So, That's so this boat is from 1890? 1895. 1895. That's a USS Maine. She blew up Havana Harbor in the, at the beginning of the Spanish American War. Wow. And then this is a gunboat from that year, 1895 also, but it's a smaller type ship. It's not a battleship. It's a, it's a, like a destroyer, but of that period. And then, wow. Oh. What's that? My teacher's name is... Oh, really? You might be related to them. Is this the name of the ship? Yes, USS Langley. Yeah, that's our first it aircraft carrier. Like but, but my teacher oh. was in the Army. Yeah. So this was oh, called yeah? USS Langley? Langley? Yes, it's really This is USS Langley. Langley. Well, this, this is just for fun on top, but that's oh, yeah. Langley. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Langley was in the Marines? He, he was yeah, in the Navy. The Marines. And you also from the, yeah. the Marines? Oh. I, I retired from the Marines, yeah. Yes, he also retired and he's teaching. Making models. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I had, I, it was just a hobby. And then yeah. I'd find antiques to go with the model. And over many years, because uh, when they shipped me away for a year or so, I'd have to uh, not put it in storage and be gone. Go yes. to the desert, come back. No, I wouldn't have to go for another year and then build another model, find some antiques. And then when I retired, I had tons of stuff in storage. Like, wow. So I was like, ah, let's. If I put it a certain way, it's a story. Yeah, like exactly. I didn't do oh, it as a story. Yeah. I see. I had so much stuff, and the models were all different periods. So I figured set it up as you see how the Navy evolved. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's pretty So, fun. but do you sell some of them, or? Uh, I've done commissions. Oh, okay. That's what this does. I, these ones right here will never be for sale. These are like uh, ones that I uh, I did on active duty, and I. I, I don't want to sell them unless someone like gave me a suitcase. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'd rather have it to promote the, the work. Yes. They can see of course. the detail in it. And, and then uh, I've done commissions for cities. I've done Civil War dioramas. And you never know when that happens. Yeah, like, exactly. It just comes out of nowhere. And then they, they, someone sees it on my website. And then uh, nhgallery.org is the website and it has all these models on there and the pictures and things like that wow and uh, i'm still trying to prove that but it's a time you know hard to it's amazing yeah it's a lot of fun this is a like you get you get to see really unique stuff like you know like this is a this is a canteen from like the revolutionary war what, what and it was it? wood oh it's for water yeah yeah oh, okay but like we're used to thermoses you know metal or plastic and things but this is uh, it was just like a small small cast but it was made out of wood because that's what held the water yeah and then you know it's oh. just some neat neat little uh things didn't know that, that. The periods. oh you have an old gun there also yeah this is a blunderbuss a replica uh, it's very very nice piece though and it had a short barrel and that was better for ship your ship shipboard use because it wouldn't get in the rigging you know for a certain period of time mm -hmm. and, uh, 
That's this is from the set, uh, middle 17, early 1800s. This whole section here. This is a half hole water line. It's not supposed to be detailed. It's just supposed to show the the broadside. Yeah. All the the gun decks. It said this ship had the 110 guns on it. The USS Vermont. The U.S. Wow. Navy really had these from the 1815 up to the Civil War. By the time the Civil War came, we had steam coming in and you had uh, a mix, but uh, these were like dinosaurs. They were, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they started using them for barrack ships at, in port where the, the crews waiting to go out to the, the modern ships, the steel, uh, the Iron Navy, mm -hmm. uh, they'd be berthed on those ships and then before they got orders to go out to the, the new Navy. Wow. They were, they'd take the guns off uh -huh. and it, you could you could sleep like hundreds and hundreds yeah, of men yeah, on board. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty funny. <laughs> so it they, was, they always uh, had a use for everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. I need to film also the oh, yeah, please sailboat do. you have there. Not too much in the workshop. It's kind of messy. <laughs> so, so, Sorry to this, so this I is... got a nice library back there. That was done by overtime and then my bins of parts and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, good job. And there's also Oh, that's a nice. Boat. Yeah, that's a, that is a um, Civil War gunboat and I made it like a dollhouse. See, this is the up one of the decks. See it goes. Mm -hmm. It goes comes apart and goes back together like a dollhouse. The whole thing. Oh. Like yeah, and it's a, a it shows the engine room down below. It's very nice. And then in my website when you go to the photos of this, mm -hmm. it it's I have all the, the the decks laid out. Okay. In the photo. You'll yeah. love and, it. and your website like, was uh um NH Gallery dot org okay it's really easy and yeah. then there's three three bars on the right you hit and it gives you more options oh so look for that all right but um okay. all, all the model because it'll say all the ships listed you know this one's not on there yet though i gotta add that yeah that's gonna be the that's the gun turret of that ship over there it's bigger and then it's not detailed yet at all but i put the wood decking down in so it so they like so. opened it and then they like put the kit in it? no no this <laughs> they had to bring it back and load it from the front this oh, wasn't yeah. a, so that's why it's on wheels right yeah, yeah. yeah that wasn't a uh yeah, they it's called a cool. breech loader it was later but yeah. some actually put it in here later so, on yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, I see we have something extra that I didn't manage to... Do you have one up there? Oh, yeah. That's so that's a USS. destroyer from World War II. That's a Fletcher-class destroyer. Yeah, and that ship is famous, uh, mainly because she was the most highly decorated ship in the U.S. Navy in the entire 20th century. Really? Like, meaning, uh, like, whenever... Here, let's put that back for yeah. now. Eric, Eric, Eric. Yeah, I got it. Eric. Thank you. The, um... The reason being is she served from World War II all the way through Vietnam. Oh. She served so long that she beat everybody <clears throat> else out. Wow. Because you would think that a, a bigger ship, like a battleship or a carrier, would have had a lot of decorations from World War II. But that, I, it was so funny to study that ship because I found out she was the most highly decorated ship in the 20th century. It's just a little destroyer. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much. I stole two dollhouse hinges from my sister's dollhouse, and I and then I made a hood out of metal, out of aluminum, like a, a, a coke can, uh -huh. that matched the plastic one in the kit. I used the the kit as a template, ah. and then I had a working metal hood on my '57 Chevy Carmine. So this was just me messing around. This was like you had mix of plat kit and metal and dollhouse and working. And and they were like Frankenstein models. Oh, okay. But that little messing around is what led to now to I next. just draw right onto whatever I want to do from drawings and, and make my own parts. So so you do this actually full time? Is that oh, you, this I'm your work? I'm retired from the rings. Oh, yeah. So so, you, so this is so the thing you do. This is all you know. I have an income. Yes. So I get to do this and share it with everybody, and also like hopefully make some extra money making uh, models for companies or cities or people or whatever exactly yeah so yeah. so what typically would a let's say a boat like this 
cost. <laughs> okay. Or if you don't want to say it, it's okay. Or maybe it's okay. Okay, let me give you an example. Do you want to say it off camera, Put, maybe? Show, no, show, show that one. This one? Yep. Yeah. Now, turn it off, off camera for a minute. Yeah. So oh, sometimes I have to shoot away and people get real upset because I have hours on the Google and I uh -huh. might not be. Oh, you might not be here. No, oh. sometimes. Oh, like, okay, okay. Sometimes. Like, I don't want also, it's good to actually to... Yeah. So I can put the details in the, in oh, the YouTube video if you, you want. Can do whatever. And I can just write under that, sometimes it's good to call before. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Something like this. Yeah, 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 anything you want. I, my, I, my YouTube channel is not very big, so... Yeah, but <laughs> see, see, that's why, what the whole idea of the room is, is um, to continue the hobby. And I keep building, you see, mm -hmm. and getting better at it, yeah. even now. Um, but I never know who I'm going to meet, who's going to do what, and social media would be really helpful. Yep, sure. Really helpful, because uh, I mean, you know, okay. to find a benefactor, like, really low, like, I joke around, I look for uh, an eccentric billionaire to come in here and go, ah, I love this, and yeah. then just like help me, like, make it better. <laughs> Maybe a Saudi bigger. Arabian prince or something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but bigger, yeah. just a bigger space. It's just, the rent is the only thing yeah. that keeps it from being small. Yeah. Because that's I the understand. biggest chunk, you know. But I, but, uh, I joke around like, ah, you know, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> But perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, thank you very What's much. Uh, my name is Helge. 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 Joe. So, nice to meet you. I'm Dana Costea. Nice to meet both of you. Yes. So, uh, that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. Oh, good. good. Yeah. yeah. So, good luck. And, uh, good, yeah, see you around. Thanks. Yeah, let, yeah. Oh, if you think of it, um, communicate with me when you when you post it on YouTube. I would love to watch Yeah, it. I can uh, send you the send link. You to my right? mom or dad or something. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll yeah. do it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. bye.